this is called war. Today, a poet died because he lost all of his questions. Somewhere in France, a tire exploded, delaying a young girl's tour. She's burst tears, caving around a fistful of euros as she senses the lost moments just over the next hill, floating a red balloon. There she imagines Joan of Arc, a bicycle thief, and Jacques Cousteau, a street that's been there for centuries. Elsewhere, a little boy becomes an artist as he sniffs his first jar of tempera paint handed out by a young teacher from Hokkaido, unaware of the 72 tubes of oil paint he will use in his entire lifetime. Today, I'm waving at a crow in Como Park as if my hands were semaphore flags, signaling hello like a transient gray alien, wondering what a bird has to do to become reincarnated as a writer the next time around. Yesterday, a girl I knew changed her hair color, insisting it made a difference, handing me an antique birdcage she found in the street, a curved door broken off, a rusty smile for curious dogs who don't know what to make of it, howling in a broad town alley devoid of poetry. Thank you.